What is going on, guys? Welcome to American Truck Simulator. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS, and today we're going to be taking this load of milk down to the farmer's barn in Boise. guys so this is the let's play the welcome to american truck simulator the profile that is completely bone stock there are no mods no nothing and it is a complete playthrough of the game trying to become a successful company we'll set up some goals here on this profile as time goes on but this is primarily for those guys who are curious about the game who want to see what the game is all about and maybe are interested in grabbing it and they want to see what the game looks like before you decide to add mods. The stock game as we're playing now is awesome as it is. So we're going to be going through this, showing you guys a little bit of like a let's play with zero mods. If you guys want to see what a profile looks like, completely modified and jacked up, guys, make sure to follow me over on twitch.tv slash modded ATS where we go live Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. And we are also doing another career playthrough, but mostly with some modified trucks, some real company logos and things like that. Custom trucks, custom engine sounds, you guys name it. Also, guys, if you're new here to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And if you guys like the video, make sure to give this thing a thumbs up. So we're going to jump into this thing. We're going to fire this thing up. And we already got the lights on. And if you guys notice here down at the bottom, we have the license plate that says modded. And you'll notice right up here, the picture has changed. We have linked our account to the World of Trucks. I'll put a link in the description for the World of Trucks, but the World of Trucks opens up external contracts. And this is all contracts that are actual, actually real time. So if I decided to pick up these office supplies, I really have 19 hours and five minutes. It is an external website that is partnered with SCS. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a kind of like achievement list and things like that but we can make a whole video on that but i did want to link the account because on the pro on the website you can actually link your steam account and you could also have a custom license plate as you guys see there that says modded so we're going to jump here in the old kenworth that we just bought last episode and we are going to be rocking this thing down we do have about a 230 mile ride ahead of us uh it is 508 in the morning and we are going to go ahead and try and get this load of milk off. We have to uh, get it down there to Boise. Make sure nobody's coming that way. And then we're going to have to stop and get some fuel on this trip. So it won't hopefully be that crazy of a trip. Flip up the old... Oh, we, yeah, we got a 10-speed in this thing. But I got to come back down there. There we go. Alrighty, so hope you guys are having a good day wherever you may be. Let's uh, roll that window up just a little bit there. There we go. Nothing too much crazy in the world of SCS. As I guys, I've told you guys, I wanted to make this profile a little bit of a, a news outlet to kind of give you guys some updates on the game and everything. So primarily the only things in the past couple of days, it's been about 10, 11 days since the last upload. Uh, it's pretty much been some Kansas teasers and also some company teasers for the new companies coming with Oklahoma and Kansas. We're going to try to run this yellow. There we go. Thank God they fixed that here in 147 or else we'd be in trouble. Oh, man, do I hate a 10-speed. But, uh, yeah, guys, so a lot of teaser photos about Kansas. There's some teaser photos about the new gas companies, the public works and things like that in Oklahoma. So I'm hoping that Oklahoma, or at least Kansas, I think more or less Oklahoma, is gonna be on the horizon here shortly. Uh, where am I gonna get fuel at? Uh, you know what I wanna do too? I'll show you guys a little trick. I had to do it on the main profile. I'm gonna go to keys and buttons, and we're gonna scroll down, and let's see here. Where was it under? It's definitely on this side then. Infotainment zoom mode. 
as I want that. There we go. So now what will happen is in my truck here, if I look at my Gypsus, we are able to expand it out a little bit more so I can kind of see what's going on. And you'll see the little green fuel icon there. So we're going to be passing the fuel stop. So we'll jump over there, get some fuel, and uh, be able to hopefully get on our way here. And we, like I said, we have about a 220, that's about 227 miles, I guess, 228. A little bit of a ride there. We're going to hopefully try to get this truck upgraded. That is the goal. So we're going to set some goals on this profile. Um, I'm going to make sure I don't run this light here. Don't need any tickets here. We'll take a look at our career path uh, when we get up here to the fuel stop. But the goal is I want to become successful, right? In all the profiles I do, that's pretty much the main goal, is be successful. Um, we'll try to uh, become a multi-million dollar company. And with this game's multi-million dollar, we're talking probably anywhere between seven, let's just say a little bit more than seven million. Seven million is the hit. And you guys might be saying like, holy man, that's a lot of money. Well, once we start getting some trucks running on the road, we have a few garages. Uh, every time that we have to do our reset, uh, we'll definitely have some money coming in overnight and it'll be a lot. So do want to make sure that it's a little bit reasonable. But we'll say seven to 10 million is the goal here for a company, which means everything paid off, no loans, no nothing. And we can almost consider ourselves multi-million. So I am going to go ahead and go in the opposite entrance here and put our lights on there. I said it's 519 in the morning, so there's not really anybody here on the old road. Uh, can I get fuel here? I don't see any icons. Do we not have icons here today? Usually there's a floating icon. Could you imagine this profile got tainted with? Oh, oh, we're hitting something there. Let's back up in our jester sails. That'd be very interesting if we lost the icons on this profile. Yeah, look at that. So, we don't have icons. One of the fun joys. So we're going to fill this thing up and see what happens. But hopefully we have some icons when we go deliver this load. Kind of weird how we wouldn't have any. Oh my god, that snapped. Five hundred dollars for that. Jesus, Lord in heaven. All right, so we're gonna continue our trip here. Again, weird why there is no icon there. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if that's gonna be like the, uh, the hint here for the profile. I wonder if the profile already has the profile already become tainted. Uh, nobody's coming there. We should probably add some spot mirrors on this truck, even though I do like the regular square rectangular mirrors without the spot mirrors it is kind of a cleaner look make sure nobody's coming here from the left or the right that guy's making a right oh you know what we never did we never looked at our uh, never looked at our career mode there our info Maybe we'll get up here. It says the next gas is 100 miles. Oh, my Lord. Thank God we got gas. Thank God. Even though we don't want to put gas in the truck, it is a diesel. We want to put fuel. A little floating of the gears there. Beautiful sunrise coming up. Again, guys, there are no mods on this profile. Uh, I am having the NVIDIA filters on, which I did go over in the last video. If you guys are curious about that, you can go ahead and check that out. I did take off the ambient light, though. We do just have those three currently. So it kind of makes the game just a little bit brighter. But other than that, we do not have any graphic mods on. Nothing that would be of the sort of getting a mod. It's just with your own GPU hardware. As we uh, go around, look at that sun in the sky burning. My guy. We also got to check out the uh, sleep there. What do we got? Oh, well, we're really good on sleep. It's at the F6 key here. We got 10 hours. Oh, we got plenty of time, I think, right? We have next rest stop 10 hours, and we only have about four hours on the rod. So we have plenty of time there to truck them up down the road. Now, another thing is, guys, I know a lot of you guys who watch my live streams 
and also comment on the videos always ask hey man when do you want to do some convoys and to be honest with you guys i'll be straight up serious it is very very difficult to do convoys at this time given the certain state of the convoy okay and what that means is that i know a lot of you guys are interested in using mods for convoys and i never want to put someone in the position where they feel the need that they have to buy a mod in order to go trucking you know i want everyone to have a good equal time to play and be able to enjoy themselves and we did do a few of them in the past with some free ones and we had a great time with that and all that but again it's just uh becomes a little bit sometimes of a difficult scenario so what I want to do with this profile is I'm going to leave this profile bone stock. And what I'm going to do until... What I would suggest is that if there ever became a way where we had a convoy mode, which is multiplayer, where we had the option to turn off, like, our friends' mods, so, like, you just saw, like, a stock truck instead of a modified truck, um, I think that would be the best-case scenario as we look up at that sunrise. The other alternative of course is going to be the truckers multiplayer which involves zero mods so maybe in the future we'll take like a couple days a month or something and do something on that and then i'll be using this profile on the truckers multiplayer since this is going to be my completely stock profile and uh be able to build some miles up on this kenworth and this company but uh, also keep you guys in the loop, so in case you guys are following this to a T, which I know some of you guys are, you guys are not left in the dirt or in the dust. Now, also for those fans of the non-GPS series, that series will be making a return this week. I uh, did do some updates on the mods and everything and got that squared away. So we'll be having that return. What else are we doing here? We got so much going on. So, so much going on, but... We are looking around the cab here. If you guys are new, I have a eye tracker. It is Toby. A, I believe I have links, or if not information, on what I use down in the description. I always forget what I put down in there. I got truck driver brain sometimes. But uh, that's my head tracker. It allows me to look left and right and see what's going on and all that kind of fun jazz. Cool, in case you guys are wondering, like, how the heck I'm looking left and right like that so easily. I'm not actually using the mouse. And also, too, a little news about myself. The wife and I are moving. Uh-oh, headlight usage offense. I guess we need to have our hard lights on for a certain time. Okay. So, um, I hate that ticket, by the way. Hate that ticket, hate that ticket. Wow, look at this. We're going to take a screenshot here, I think. Look at this. Do a photo mode there. We'll uh, scooch across to the other side. Look at that. That's cool. Let's get it from. Let's get it from the back side. Let's. Uh, I wish there was like a, like a way to speed it up, but man, that is cool. That is a cool shot right there. Let's uh, make sure this is all. S there we go. Boom. Little roll to it. Boom. Oopsies. I don't want that one to. Let's go around this side. Huh. We got our headlights on looking all professional. There we go. That's a cool thumbnail maybe right there. Continue the drive. Oh. So now I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, good, Mike. Way to go. Ooh, look at that accident. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's right. So the wife and I are going to be moving at the end of this month. So I am recording this on May 11th. So May 26th, we are moving out of where I'm currently living. And we are moving currently to another state. If you guys don't know, I'm moving from New Jersey to Delaware. So nothing too crazy, but I will be offline for about a week or two. Uh, so 
I'm going to probably try to have some videos recorded, have them in the old hoister there. Holster? Hoister. Holster. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, so this way, at least some content does roll out for you guys to check out here over on the YouTube. Uh, so then hopefully when we move, I'm going to have my own little stream room. My own little man cave I'm going to build up. So what I'm going to do too is I think with this series, I asked one of the questions in the last video. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll put the green screen behind me in a way where I can just show you guys like the shifting. Uh, since we do use a shifter here with the G27. In case I know some of you guys don't want to see my pretty face and you guys see enough of it on Twitch. But, um, ooh, nice car. But we'll have that coming out. It'll be a little bit easier because the room's a little bit bigger so I can set up more of a parameter on where I can set up, like, the uh, the camera and stuff so you guys will see a nice shot of that. Oh, almost flipped in roller. Uh, wrong. I love the name of that fuel stop. Oh, we still have one more gear. 10-speed life. I always forget about the 10-speed. Welcome to Idaho. Well, that's where we're headed is the capital, right? The capital is Boise. I think that's right. Let's take a gander here. We'll hit the F3 key again. We have about 138 miles, two hours, 42 minutes. We're about halfway through our, eh, give or take about halfway almost to our resting state. 46,000 pounds of milk. Jesus Lord. It's quite a bit of milk. We're just going to cruise down this road. Do not flip, Mike. Do not flip. Probably should use the jig here. There it is right in the corner. Just love all the sun glares and such on the windshield. I think they look really nice. Nice farms out here and such. I'll tell you what. i got to give it to SCS2 on this. I mean, the scenery... I think it's really cool. I think it's really, really nice. I think they did a, I think they did a good job with it. I, I, I do like getting lost out here with this stuff. Turn off the lights. Wow, coming up to our first vehicle in front of us. It's been a while. I just had to look over and make sure we were recording. That would be really horrible if we weren't recording. That would be a bummer. Nice Mac RD coming at us. Oh. Drop it all the way down. I'm not sure what that... Oh, JD Motel? My man, JD. Jack Daniels Motel. I always like seeing the breather right there on the Kenworth. Uh, we'll shift it out again. We sub 100 miles. We are sub 100 miles, so probably about five or so minutes here. Just driving through the deserts of Idaho. Uh oh, County Mountie. So if you guys are watching it, if you've made it this far, let me know down in the comments section, what is your favorite place to visit here in American Truck Simulator? Perhaps we will be able to travel through and check that place out. I know I'm a big fan of the Northwest. I think they did a fantastic job in Oregon and all that with all the trees. Could be a little heavy on your guys' computers if you don't have uh, the right hardware there to write up, run it on the Ultra side, but it is a really, really nice ride up there on that side. Speaking of which, one of the other goals here, besides just making money, is of course 
I always like to try to get the map 100%, and I think this profile will probably be the only profile in the entire history of profiles that will ever probably hit 100%, because we'll make sure that we go through all the secret roads and everything else like that here on this profile, uh, and kind of get it all 100% completed as a Let's Play. So, guarantee that here on this profile, but just want to throw that in there too but yeah let me know down in the comment section what is your favorite place to visit here in american truck simulator what is your favorite state and uh let me know too what, what trucks do you like running around and you guys like the international do you like the max maybe you're a peterbilt or kenworth fan maybe you're a volvo fan Let's see what kind of hammerheads we have down there in the comment section Uh, look at that farmer over there doing all his spraying. You guys like the farming sim videos? Those will be coming out as well. Got to do some of that as well over there on the farm side. Once around the river bend. Look at the cows on the left. Cows on the left. Look at that. Look at that cow. Whoopsies. Like I said, I always, I like I do like driving through the game here and seeing all these places and such. Nice American flag there over there. There, 42. Oh no, almost wrecked it. Don't wreck, Mike. Uh, we got the downshift. This one. 10 speed life. Alrighty. Guess the light is gonna go green for us. I went green for somebody. All right, so we got another red light here. And while we do, we're entering Mountain Home. Uh, the light's going green already. I wanted to check out our career progress and see what kind of tickets and fines we have. Trying to keep this profile pretty clean, even though we did just go ahead. Oh, no. We got an accident. Let's back it up a little bit. This guy's going to back it up. I don't want to get into an accident myself. Whoa, 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 buddy. Oh! Oh, my sweet Jesus. Oh, we got a problem here. All right, so... This guy's in the concrete wall. I need to get around this, so... What I'm gonna do is something illegal. We got a short of wheelbase here. I didn't get into an accident. What did I crash? Are we hitting invisible cars? We're probably going to get a red light ticket, though, from doing this. Oh, we're going to go around these. Oh, did I stall it? I did. We are going to go around these hammers. This guy from the general or global mills, I don't think he did his pre trip today. And we need to make sure that we get this load of milk delivered where it needs to go down to the farmer's barn. Got a turn up here, and I think we're getting pretty close to the farmer's barn. If I zoom out the old map here, got to still go up the highway a bit, so nothing crazy. Try to get out of town here, though. Wow, oh, that was very eventful. But if you guys do 
do play the game, you guys are going to learn that the AI, which is going to be the other trucks that you guys see on the road and the other cars, they tend to have a little mind of their own and what they want to get done with. They are a little cray cray. Like, even like this little car right here, or this Cadillac in front of them, I, would, I just wait for them to just pull right out in front of me. Hopefully not. 25 through here, we're kind of speeding. Back it down to 25. Got some scales over there and such to you. Oh, Hannah. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Where are you going, dude? I didn't realize that lane went. See what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like real life. I'm gonna start giving you anxiety. So make the left here to go to Boise. A Boise, Idaho. With our load of milk on came out. One of my favorite views is the cinematic view here. Very biased to to uh, any style construction materials, machinery, dump trailers, stuff like that. You guys will learn. I'm always looking at the uh, trucks. So we got about 28 miles to Boise, it says, and that is going to be our destination. We're going to be looking for the farmer's barn, like that little dozer right there. Hello. 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 Entering some county. I like the speed limit out here. California's double nickel. Out here, we can at least put the hammer down a little bit. This looks like we're about to almost get 700 miles on the truck, too. Sitting at 695. 695 and two zigzags. Alright, Placer and Sons. We'll move on over. That guy get on the road there. Trying to have some kind of common courtesy. And it looks like we're going in the almost in the heart of Boise, a little on the outskirts, maybe. Kind of putting the hammer down a little bit now. Broke 710 miles on the truck truck is getting to be pretty broken in there's Boise discovered we got one out of 11 here maybe we'll try to do that too maybe we'll try to complete all the steam achievements uh, on this profile for this game Texas size oh the billboard changed that was cool I've never seen that that was really cool That was cool to see. You guys have ever seen a uh, billboard chain? Let me know. I think we're getting off of this exit. It looks like we might be. So we'll just stay over here in this somewhat lane. at Eagle McCall. And we're going to begin on Iowa, or Idaho 55. Oh, that's cool. Green light too. Let's keep it. Let's keep our foot in it. There we go. Look at that. Nice and easy. And Farmer's Barn is going to be up here on the right-hand side. Little shopping plaza there. Pretty cool. This light's going to go yellow on us, I have a feeling. Even though I don't really want to stop for it, but it might still go. Oh, there it goes finally. I knew I had a feeling it was going to go. All right, so are we going over the railroad track into the Farmer's Barn? Yeah, I think so. 
is going to be here on the left or the right hand side. And let's find out if we have icons or not, if we broke the game. And it looks to me like we broke the game. Yep. So we're going to have to figure out where the icons went and why we don't have icons. But that is going to be a... Uh, should we try it with no... I'm going to try it. It wanted it over here. I think in this loading dock. So we're going to do it with no icons. Pretty sure they wanted it in that dock. Maybe it's a world of truck things. Maybe I'll disconnect my account. Just seems very odd and bizarre. Alright, we'll back this thing on up in here. Like I said, we're literally taking a guess. So I'm going to continue to back this thing up. That's not gonna be right. I know that for a fact. I'm gonna want it more in the middle. We'll know we'll get it if it says press T to unhook. Try to get that kind of squared in the door. Huh. Look at that, guys. Tell me I haven't played ATS before. So we're definitely going to figure out why we have no icons. I don't know why that's gone again, but we'll figure that out. But we wanted that experience because now we're level three. Boom, baby. Can we get any jobs out of here, too? Let's do hazmat. And we can get some loads out of here. Let's pull a grain trailer. We have never pulled a grain trailer, I think, on this. Oh. Pulling a dry bulk. Oh, no. Let's do it. Let's, like I said, let's do a hopper. I'm going to confirm this. So it's going to probably. Oh, no. We're going to have to go hook up, right? I think that's how it is on this. So we're going to have to go hook up to that grain trailer right over there on my right. And, of course, it's going to tell me to, you know pack under it but usually there's an arrow floating above it but I don't see it and that is the triaxle maybe we turned it off somehow by accident I don't know so if anyone, if anyone in the comment section knows what happened to my icons let me know maybe I did something on my end that I didn't know but uh, we're going to try to back under this thing all nice and easy-like. Without any issue. Probably drop the suspension a little bit. And try to line up that fifth wheel in the middle. And there we go. We'll lock it on up. And before we head off, let's take again. Let's look at our career here. Two penalties. One crash. This is a fake crash. So 440. 1%. All right, cool. Total mat. Oh, wow. So this is going to have the total, too, for all the weight. Awesome. Yeah, so like I said, too, we're going to try to complete all of these. We, I want all of these done right here. So that is going to be a primary of the account there to try to get that done with. But, guys, that's going to do it for the Let's Play here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to go follow me over on Twitch and check out the live streams of a couple of the modded trucks and the modded career profile. And again, if you guys happen to know why I don't have icons, let me know down in the comment section. Again, my name is Mike. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day wherever you are and always keep the hammer down.